I am your father. Dang it, wrong movie, sorry. <clears throat> What is up everybody, this is Bass Fan Fan, this is episode 91. I'm coming back to y'all with another Legend series uh, video. This one primarily has to deal with the new Iron Man helmet that just came out. But um, we're going to focus on some other figures real quick that I just got. Uh, I just picked up this Iron Man Mark 46 and this Captain America. Uh, they're both from the Civil War uh, movie and they're the uh, Ant-Man Build-A-Figure version. Um, I picked them up for 12 bucks, I think, a piece. They were half off at uh, Target, uh, not Target, excuse me. They were half off at uh, Hastings. And as many of you know, Hastings is going out of business. So they marked their stuff up a little bit, so it's 12 bucks. Um, I also recently picked up uh, this Wolverine right here. I love this figure. Um, picked him up. I bought him uh, from Toys R Us. And uh, it was 20 bucks. Didn't cost me anything for shipping, um, so it, it really worked out. It was a really good deal. Um, I, I, this is the only three figures I have from this uh, Legend series, um, so I, I haven't taken any of these out of the box yet. I'm waiting to get the man cave set up and and running, and they'll be displayed in there. Uh, also, for those of y'all that actually uh, you follow my. Uh, channel for comic books. Uh, as many of you know, I just got this uh, Tells of Suspense 39. For those of y'all that don't know what this is because you're tuning in for the Iron Man uh, legend stuff, this is the uh, very first appearance of Iron Man. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this stuff out of the way and uh, I will come back to y'all and uh, I will show you the unboxing of this helmet. Uh, it's still got all the tape up there on it. I've also uh, did an unboxing for the shield as well. I really like the shield. Mine turned out really well. So uh, I'll put a link to it in the description and you can go back and watch this video as well. It's got uh, over a thousand views on it so far, but uh, I'll be back. I'll clear some of this stuff away and we will take a look at uh, the Iron Man Legend Series uh, cosplay helmet. Okay, so before we go any further, um, let me give you all some specifics. Um, I actually uh, had my wife, she picked this up in store for me. Um, I've been watching and waiting ever since I got the Captain America shield uh, for this helmet to come out. Uh, I, I would imagine, uh, this is not the first video that you've watched on this helmet, but I would imagine I'm one of the first people to actually get my hands on one. Um, and buy it in store. I mean, I've been tracking it on anything I could track, and uh, I'm probably one of the first few to actually have this in hand. So, this is Iron Man, the electronic helmet. Um, it's made by Hasbro, and it's part of the Legend series. I do not work for Hasbro, Marvel, or anybody else, so this is an unbiased opinion. Uh, this is an adult size. Um, and it requires, I'll move a little bit closer here, it requires three alkaline batteries um, and they are not included. Uh, also give you a close-up of that and then the helmet as well. Now GameStop is a place that you might be able to find uh, this helmet at. You can pre-order it right now. Um, I found mine at Target uh, so I save 5% uh, plus, uh, it was a hundred bucks, ninety-nine dollars. Last week they were on sale. Whenever the, no one had these in stock, and they weren't, they were still like on pre-order, if you will. Uh, they had these for five dollars off. I just think that's funny that they don't even have the dang things, and uh, they're trying to uh, sell these to you. Um, let me give you the rest of what the box looks like. I mean, you're not really. It's a cool-looking box. Um, but we're not really seeing, you know, a whole heck of a lot on here. Uh, let's take a closer look here. So it's got two LED eyes. Um, it's a premium role play helmet. It's got a couple different positions that it'll uh, set in. Premium finish, magnetized faceplate, adjustable to fit most head sizes. Uh, I've got a rather large head. Um, so I'm, I'm really hoping that uh, I'm not going to wear this for cosplay. I'll probably put it on the first time, show that to y'all tonight, and then, uh, sorry for the wobble in this here. Um, 
I'll show it to y'all. Uh, actually, sitting on my body, and uh, just sort of hopefully it'll fit. I'm just hoping it fits. Uh, but I doubt I'll walk around the house too much, uh, you know, with this on. May, may not. We'll see. All right. So uh, what I'll do right now, off camera, is I'm gonna um, open the, you know, cut the seals off the box, and then give you a look at what it looks like uh, with just the top open and how it's packed. Okay, so this box actually opens from the side. There's tape here, here, and on the bottom. So, there um, you can see, let me try to change this camera angle a little bit. It does have a uh, plastic wrap around it. It does look like it's got some cardboard that's holding it in place on top and uh, bottom. Sorry about the shadow here. Um, so it does look like it's going to have a good chance to be packed well. So that is uh, very reassuring. I'll pull this out and then we'll take another closer look. Okay, so this is what it looks like just pulling it straight out of the box. It also comes with a uh, set of like instructions for how to adjust uh, the head strap in there and then uh, how to put the batteries in, the button that will let you activate the eyes, so on and so forth, how to put the helmet on off uh, so on and so forth I guess these are just a little bit more instructions on you know what's going on so but this is a this was a really snug packaging um, uh, it, it wasn't just wobbling around in there it took a little bit of effort to, to actually remove this out of the box uh, I like that it's got some good wrap on it it's got this uh, cardboard here at the top and bottom that gives you the uh, custom fit in there so uh, I'll be right back and the next uh, part of the video you'll see it'll actually be removed from the plastic okay so we are um, out of the box now let me try to get you a height here real quick uh, this looks to be about nine and a half inches tall maybe ten if you're just wanting to be on the safe side um, let me turn it to the side and we'll get an overall uh, like length it reminds me of a motorcycle helmet actually uh, front to back let's say a nice twelve and a half to twelve and three quarters maybe might be just an even uh, thirteen inches somewhere I feel safe calling it maybe thirteen inches um, and then your your width let's say seven and a half to, to eight inches in width so um, pretty nice so this is my first time I'm giving it a once over um, so let's just take a closer look here see what we can see um, a little mark, excuse me, just a little bit of an imperfection right here, I think you can see it now. I do not have batteries in this uh, yet either. And I mean you can see this is a, this is a good, I mean this is a one-on-one -on -one accurate you know size helmet if you will uh, the reason I bought this was for uh, displaying purposes uh, like I said I don't plan on wearing this uh, but it is made for cosplay I'm assuming that you could uh, you know make this part of your uh, outfit if you wanted to this part this part right here in the back it swivels out and then the face plate comes off this action right here will sort of come down from what I've seen in a video uh, so that you can pop your melon in there so uh, I'll be right back I'll try to find some batteries real quick so that way I can show you all some of the features it has okay so I've got the batteries installed now uh, the batteries actually go right here in the front um, let me lift this up and I'll push the button and show you what it does and you'll also maybe be able to hear the sound so if you want to uh, like have this set up for display like I will uh, you know you have people coming over or whatever it may be I, I'm assuming I don't know how long this light lasts but you could go in and just set this up uh, to have the lights always stay on in the eyes there's also like a dimmer switch in here as well so there's a notch down a notch down and then finally all the way off 
and again the power up sound one more time so pretty cool okay so to remove the helmet you simply just lift up right here and then here is what the inside looks like for like Dr. Doom or something like that and then here is a better idea of what uh, the inside looks like like I said this chin piece will actually swivel out um, and I believe there's also a way that you can like, put this in the resting position right here how is that how do I do that okay so this is also the resting position right here uh, you know you've seen Tony Stark do this in the movies and stuff like that uh, to where it sort of you know will and you'll see his face y'all like that sound effects that is uh, only here at Batman fan um, and it'll actually set right up there so Whenever all the magnets connect right, you'll get that sound of putting it back uh, together, if you will. And I'm assuming, again, whenever you pull it off, you get that sound again. All right, be right back. So now for the moment of truth, let's see if I can temporarily become Iron Man slash Tony Stark. Okay, so this is what the helmet uh, looks like whenever it's put on. It's sort of hard to talk in this, if you will, and try to make sure the microphone works. It also doesn't work if you pull it away from your mouth and go, microphone work. So, pretty cool though, all in all. I will say that these lights that are in here sort of make it hard to uh, see, so I wouldn't advise anyone walking around at night or anywhere that you'd be in harm's way and uh, using this, um, uh, I'm sure there's a dimmer switch. Let me see where that's at again, and I'll show you that. So if I use the dimmer, it makes it a little bit easier to see. Also, I had to do some adjustments on this because I got a large head. I got a seven and a half head, but I am able to fit it in here. But it is hot. Woo! It's hot. Right pieces. You can actually remove the head strap in there and adjust it for height and width, and that uh, that helped me a lot. Uh, I will say that it's extremely hot in there. Um, whenever these lights are on bright, I would not advise that you're doing a whole lot of, of walking around in this. Um, the lights interfere with your vision. So I will, uh, I will say that as far as a safety concern. Uh, I'm assuming that if you do have good vision out of the eye pieces, uh, if you don't have the lights on or they're on very dim, uh, you do have uh, a lot better vision. Um, still though, use caution, use care. If you're planning on this being your your cosplay, please become familiar with it. Uh, you know, if this is your cosplay helmet for Iron Man, please become familiar with a mask and, and know how to use the lights or not use the lights, especially when we're doing a lot of moving around. So um, there are some small imperfections in this helmet. Um, I found some just you know some little pieces that are not colored the way they should be, uh, or you know just might have got a little nicked or, or something to that effect. Um, but I would say that the color and everything though, I mean it is uh, true to form in my opinion as far as uh, you know what, what it looks like in the movie but like uh, you can see right here y'all see that little mark right there that's a you know that's an issue that comes straight from the factory that's nothing that uh, you know has been done uh, unboxing or, or anything else like that uh, thank you all very much for watching if you're new to my channel please like subscribe comment uh, please ask any questions that you have like I said I do not work for Hasbro I don't work for Marvel I don't work for Target uh, I collect a lot of comic books um, and this is you know one of the things I've been drawn to I thought this was really cool so now I need a Batman cow I need some kind of legit looking Batman cow That'll be the next thing I buy. So thank you all very much for watching and have a great one.